Hello, everyone. Um, I'm sorry. I keep trying to click on my... Uh, I keep trying to get the introduction to start rolling, but it's just a black screen. So I'll, you will just have to start uh, just a cold uh, cold open right, right here, right now. My name is Carson... <coughs> My name is Carson O. Kimball, and you are watching Call Carson. Call Carson, if you are new, is a uh, live stream designed to be a place where people who find themselves uh, struggling with uh, gaming, uh, and I don't mean with needing tips and tricks for gaming, but I mean that gaming has taken over uh, their life in such a way that the quality of their life has uh, been um, reduced. And so... I offer myself as a person that anonymous people can call in and get some support, get some advice, get some kind words, and most importantly, get themselves out there in front of other people in the world. There are uh, many things that one could be addicted to. Hardly anything is as pernicious and insidious as gaming, though. There are a couple things that are a little bit worse. Because gaming overrides and hijacks a uh, person's desire to accomplish goals, to have meaningful social interactions, and to live their life according to a narrative bigger than themselves. All of us need to tap into all three of those things. But what gaming does is it taps into those things, but the output of our effort goes into an artificial digital wasteland where our efforts in the end mean nothing. So I offer myself once again as someone who you can be, feel safe to call in and uh, to call into and to get some advice, get some support. Um, there are some special announcements that uh, will be uh, revealed at the end of this live stream. So please stick all on around, stick around for uh, to the end of the stream to find out what those might be. Um, I promise Hello. this evening I'm going to. Wilson, I didn't pick up any. Wilson, we're not starting yet. Hello, caller? Hello? Okay. Call Carson. Okay. The, yeah. Hello. Yes, this is the right. You called into the right uh, show, but this is not. We're not. It's not time yet. I'm still doing my uh, opening introduction. I can wait. Wilson. Okay. Sorry, everybody. Just a technical uh, diff difficulty here. But anyway, I promise this evening to try and pay attention to the chat, to uh, also take calls. And with that, I'll be juggling balls in, in the sense that I... It's often hard for me to game, which I am not good at as it is, to answer the phone lines and to look at the chat all at the same time. It's like three balls that I'm juggling like a, you know, uh, a, a juggler at a, uh, you know, uh, a talent show. Um, but I'm going to do my very best. So please, uh, the best way you can support that is just be patient. And um, I want to let everyone know that I do my very best. And so does uh, Wilson to vet the show but people still slip in through our cracks and they uh infiltrate the show and they say filth things we have a zero tolerance policy for anything like that so if you want to call in and you have a, a stupid joke up your sleeve or something like that you can guarantee it is not going to be on the air okay because we're going to hang up on you so anyway thank you everybody uh, next Friday is a very special stream. I just want to remind everybody, it is our uh, tri-annual Happy Meg WV Day. And, uh, oh, sorry. It is our annual Happy Meg WV Day. <laughs> what I meant is we she's been doing this for like three years and uh, without any recognition. So next uh, Friday... Happy Meg WV will be on the air to uh, help me uh, juggle those balls, if you will. And she'll be taking calls while I play a video game of her choice. Um, 
And uh, yeah, so we're also doing a segment where you can submit a, a uh, an artistic creation, a talent, maybe it's a picture, maybe it's a, a, a song or a video dedicated to Happy May WV. Um, so yeah, if you have a submission, want to create one, please email such a submission to Mormon talk line at gmail.com. So wonderful, everybody. I'm going to take a quick break and uh, I'm going to set everything on up. And so don't you go on anywhere. <laughs> All right. Got mail. Good luck tonight, Carson. From the Corey Trevor family. All 18 of us.
Hello, everyone. I am back, and I am here to answer some calls. <laughs> well, wonderful. Okay. So, I'm playing a game called Mario Kart 64. So, um, okay, I think... Uh, hello? Hello, caller. You're, you're on the air with... Yes. I'm 14 years old. I go by Zim, and I have gaming addiction Fortnite. Okay, I want to remind everyone I'm not accepting prank calls tonight. So, you clearly sound like uh, you're older than 14 and you're making a voice. That's for my gender affirming care. Hello. Okay, what do you... So, what was your problem that you're going through? I have an addiction to Fortnite and I can't stop buying in-game skins. Okay, well, are you work earning these, these gaming skins? I pay for them on my parents' credit card. You pay for them on your parents' credit card? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I I just have a feeling this is a prank call. Wilson, hang on. That just is a, a testament to you guys. I'm not I'm not allowing people to prank call me tonight. Ha. So. Carson, hello. Welcome to the show, caller. You're on the air. Do you, can I help you with a question that you have? Yeah, I was just wondering if there was a, a limit. Uh, before I get into my gaming question, I was wondering if there was a limit to how long the Meg tribute videos can be. Like if there's a... Uh, if, what, what know, is, five, so is five minutes too long? Five minutes, I think, is fine. Oh, good. I, yes. I just had longer some... longer than that would be probably uh just a little zany that would be zany right right do you have a question for me caller other than that or should i shall i move on no no i i got a question uh, so last week i called about the the princess leia um thing and you were you were get getting uh, all riled up because i was uh saying about how the lego girl was pretty wilson you fucking nigger the carson We have a negative 600% policy for saying N over the phone lines. By the way, that was a person impersonating my voice. I would never say that, and I would certainly never say that to Wilbo either. That is absolutely wrong, okay? Exactly, exactly. Hello, caller, you're on the air with Car- uh, You're on the air with Carson Owen Kimball. Welcome to the show. Do I have- Do you have a question for me, caller? Brettel, oh, fuck me, the asshole, Brettel, oh, fuck me. Fuck Wilson, me, oh, it goes without saying me. that it's time to hang up. You need to work on the reflexes. While I'm playing this game, I can't juggle four balls. I can only do three at a time. If I have to add hanging up on calls uh, to that list of balls, then I'm not going to be able to do it. Okay? Hello? Hello, caller. You're on the air with Carson and Kimball. Please, this is a family-friendly show. Okay? It's not a show where I invite families on necessarily, but sometimes there are families that watch. So please watch your language. And, and every single time you think of saying a word, ask yourself, would you kiss your mom with that word on your lips? Okay? Now go ahead, I, caller. I 100% agree. Go no, ahead. And I'm just here with some of my family, so I actually I fully agree with what you're saying. 
Well, I apologize um, on behalf of Call Carson and the entire uh, uh, company of Call Carson. Oh, you shouldn't apologize for Call Carson. The the splashers need to are the ones who should apologize. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well. Anyway, can I help you with something, caller? Yeah. Um. So I mean, I just moved from West Virginia not too long ago, and uh, that actually the funny story. I had a waiter there, and he looked like really. He just looks like exactly like you. Okay. Did you ever live in West Virginia and work at Denny's? <laughs> No, I uh, no, I uh, I have lived in the great state of Utah for my entire life, save two years. <laughs> oh, maybe it just looked like you then. <laughs> well, wonderful. Uh, do you have a question for me? And I, I, I think that uh, yeah, yeah, I do have a question for you. you can go ahead, caller. Okay, so, um, basically. My dad, um, he he told me that he's going to stop paying for my gender-affirming care if I don't stop playing uh, Kirby and the Crystal Shark. I, I, sorry, one more time? Oh, I just said my dad, he said he's going to stop paying for my gender-affirming care if I don't stop playing Cur Kirby's Crystal Shark. Oh, okay. So it's like, I, I don't know what to do because well, that's Well, really I can't give you, adv I don't think... Okay, so there's there's a separate issue there that I'm not willing to address, but let's address the fact that you can't stop playing Kirby. <laughs> Which, by the way, I was playing last week, and I I left that experience thinking to myself, this is a game for girls. Yeah, and I was a girl, and now I'm trying to become more of a man through gender-affirming care, and it's just, it's just a confusing thing, because I feel like I'm turning back into a girl when I'm gay, and I'm not getting the care I need. Okay. Well, like I said, there's a separate issue there that I'm not going to address because I am not uh, your doctor or your parent. But I will say this. Using gaming to try and create an alternate reality for yourself or try and affect yourself in the real world and affect your own identity is an absolutely toxic and poisonous thing to do. I mean, there are people that have called into the show that have played games like Grand Theft Auto, for example, and have went out in the real world and committed real world crimes that they learned from playing the game. And there are people yeah, that, the, have, that have that uh, have learned other behaviors. There are people that have played games like uh, Star Fox um, and have been enticed uh, sensually by some of the more carnal characters in the game and it has affected the way that they live their life and they they orient themselves um s-e-x wise yeah that's i totally disagree that's why i don't play grand theft auto but however kirby kirby can like suck other characters off and into him wilson and then he becomes a, wilson he did becomes you hear wilson did you hear what he said Wilson, did you hear what he said? Please just, like I, my job is to play game, talk to the callers, and to glance at the chat. You've got to be a quick draw McGraw. You have to be faster than uh, lightning when it comes to hanging up on these calls because guess what? The longer they stay on that are pranking the show, it's like, it, it's like you're spraying every, you're allowing them to spray everyone in the face with diarrhea, okay? Yeah. Go, go ahead, caller. You're on the air, and I'm not here to, I'm not here to waste my time. I've had horrible things happen yeah. to me in the last uh, 20, 48 hours, and I am not willing to sit here and be made a uh, uh, a fool out of. Yeah, I understand. Go ahead, caller. Hey, shout out my nigga Sean. Wilson, that was better, but I still heard N. You should have known that he was going to say it. By the the tone of the the tone of someone's the their the tone of their lips. Hi, Carson. Hello, caller. Col you're on the air. Uh, do you have a question for me that is directly to the point about needing help about having an addiction to video games? Yes, sir. I do. Um. So. Uh. The. You were talking about Star Fox earlier on one of the other calls. Um, 
I've noticed that uh, my brother has been um, sufficiently addicted to, uh, you know, Star Fox and everything that comes with it as far as uh, furry. And uh, I was wondering if you knew how to break the break the break the Star Fox ad addiction, as it were, um, since you seem to be a little bit more knowledgeable about it. So I have never been addicted to Star Fox ever. Well, I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying you see. I have studied the subject. You're right. I just want. I, I know what you mean. I just want to clarify for the audience here that they don't get the idea that I'm uh, somehow uh, speaking from experience when it comes to that. But what? what oh I will God, Scarlet, that feels so fucking good, baby. Your tongue on my penile flesh is most what? satisfying. Wilson. Wilson, Rancher is a little fucking f Wilson. I'm not, I'm, I can't, you know what? Take a break from the calls. Yahoo! I've come in second place in this game, but I keep coming in last place in real life. Whenever you guys call in, you mess up everything that I'm trying to do. Do you know how many hours it takes to, to just create this whole thing? I don't have to do it. I could literally just walk away right now. I could turn this off. And I could go watch Flubber with my my daughter, or, or or my son, or my 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 grandma, or my grandpa, or or my my dog, or my cat, or what I could go do. I have family, okay. Okay, I could go do something else. I don't have to sit here and play games with you guys, okay, and. I get it. I'm playing a game in front of you guys when it comes to this this uh, this car game, okay? But I'm not playing games with you guys in the sense that I'm I'm up willing to sit up here and play, uh, unmask the troll, unmask the troll. I'm not gonna do that, okay? Okay, I'm gonna take a look at the chat. What's up, Carson? Uh, how you doing, my guy? Hello, caller. You're on the air. Hey, okay. So I've been watching the stream. You've been playing some great Mario Kart. Down to a T. I think we should enter some tournaments. What do you think? I am not interested in entering a game tournament, but I appreciate the compliment. Um, sure. Do you have a question for me, caller, uh, concerning... Uh, I do. I do. I uh, my my family has had uh, some issues with video gaming. My dad was addicted to gaming for years. He was playing Grand Theft Auto. He was playing Saints Row. All these bad games, and he actually ended up in prison doing. Uh, I think it was five years when I was a baby. And I want to see what do you think he could have done to prevent that, and uh, just kind of going forward. Well, what did he go to prison for? Let's see if it's linked to the game. The games that you I don't I don't I don't know uh, Saint Row, but I do know Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, so he was driving downtown Los Angeles, and he rolled a cop car that he found. So it wasn't like he didn't take it; it was on the side of the road, and he took it, and he driving it, and he rolled it. So he went to jail for about five years, and um, he missed like my my kindergarten graduation and stuff like that. Which made me sad, but you know, he's better now. All he really plays now is he really likes Wii bowling. He uh plays that with some of his buddies, but it's a lot nicer than GTA, you know what I mean? Well, anything is nicer than GTA. Um, of frankly, eating a uh, bowl of dead flies would be better than GTA. I agree. Um, I'd rather mosquitoes too. Yeah, I, I hear you, caller. First of all, I'm really sorry about uh how that must have affected you um i appreciate that. it's it's not just i mean because here's the thing i can't help your your father right here right now Boy. what you're doing right now is you're you are shouting to the world upon the rooftops hey gaming affected my, this is a real problem okay my parent actually started to try and emulate the characters that he played as in grand, Th grand theft 
uh, Grand Theft Auto, okay? And look, he's a, he went to prison because of the things that were normalized from from gaming, okay? Correct. Now, what I what I can say to you now is I think that our our audience here could benefit from hearing how that affected your life negatively. Of course. What was it like not having your, your old man around because he was behind bars for rolling yeah. a cop car? I threw a baseball at my garage door because I didn't have anybody to play catch with. And I put a hole through the garage door and my mom yelled at me. Wow, you must have quite an arm, I will say. Yeah, I did. I, did. I went, so I started to play uh, played single A ball. Didn't make it. I blew my arm apart, so I lost my scholarship. So, but that's okay though. I'm in I'm in coal mining right now. So I, I do coal mining in uh, West Virginia. Uh, I have a pet bird. It's pretty good. Life's good, you know. Well, you you know, I'm I'm glad that you've been able to adapt and to come out on top. Uh, not all of us come out on top. No. Okay? Some people, they stay uh, in the dark, in the abyss. And so I'm glad that you your life has changed. What would you recommend to other people who have a loved one that are spending more time playing a game than, than they are spending it playing playing with them? I agree. I, you should, uh, any of you uh, gamers out there, you gamer parents, play games with your kids, play board games with your kids. You know what I mean? Play tic tac toe. Those are good family wholesome games. Do a puzzle. Don't be playing these Nintendos, the sixty fours, the PlayStation ones, twos, the threes, the three sixties. Don't play any of that stuff. Play board games. Play cards. I question for you. Are we? Are you gonna do? Are you gonna do another talent talk? I think that'd be a great thing to add to Call we, Carson. Actually, next week will be our only foreseeable time that we do one. Next Fantastic. Friday. It, but here's the catch, though, caller. All okay. of the submissions have to be a tribute to Happy Meg WV, the moderator of this show. Happy Meg. Okay. Yeah, I she, will. Uh, and that I'll WV try. stands for, for for West Virginia, by the way. Oh, wow. Let's go. Mountain up, baby. Mountaineers. <laughs> Tavon wow. Austin. Do well, you wonderful. know who Tavon is? Trayvon Martin, who? Oh, not not that guy, not Trayvon Martin. Nope, uh, Trayvon Austin, uh, wide receiver, West Virginia. Check out his highlight reel on YouTube. It'll blow your mind. Okay, well, wonderful. Thank you for the recommendation. Okay. Of course. Well, Carson, I have to go. I'm about to start my shift in the coal mine, but uh, I really appreciate this. I've been a big fan for a long time. Well, wonderful. Thank you for for calling in, and I hope you can uh, stick around or have a sneak peek or have a peek at the end of the show because I do have an announcement. Well, wonderful. Thank you for calling in. Hello. Oh, is this a new call? Hello, caller. You're on the air with Carson uh, Owen Kimball. Hi, Carson. I'm a uh, new new uh, viewer of the show, and I uh, just wanted to call in. I found your show through uh, TikTok. Uh, so I just wanted to uh, maybe give a warning. Yeah, I found uh, you know, someone named JB, I think, post post your videos. A uh, lot of really inspirational to me, so I just wanted to call in. JB is po okay. Well, okay. Well, wonderful. Um, well, good. I hope those videos were uh, a help to you, or uh, I'm, I'm, I mean, they got you here, so you must have a good reason for being here. So, well, wonderful. Oh yeah, they're wonderful. Yeah, I was um, I was calling. I I, I will say I did have a uh, kind of an addiction to gaming before, but I wanted to give a warning. I don't know if you've heard of this before. Uh, there's something called uh, it's it basically they call it an indent, but it's headphone indentation. Have you have you heard of that at all? A, a headphone indentation. Yeah, I, um, I was a semi-professional gamer, and I would play maybe you know. 16 hours a day with my my team and uh i started to notice a indentation in my head where my headphones lay i don't and uh i don't know if you've heard of that no i have not but that sounds like it would be a very painful process well that actually it's not painful i mean it's a slight pain but not painful at all my uh 
edges are slowly indented over time. And I took a, I, I believe I was pretty smart about all these in school. And I started to notice that my IQ has dropped. And uh, I looked into it a little bit. And it is true, it pushes your brain down from this indentation over time. It slowly builds. And uh, mine's gone actually pretty deep, about a half an inch where my headphones lay. Wait, you just still just wear those weird. headphones? Well, I'm a gamer. I have to. Half the game. What? Uh, you can't get headphones that have like a squish, a a squish uh, uh, rim. Well, that's the thing. There, it has a pound on it, but I still have received an indentation over time. I think it's just the normal wear. You know what? Like, okay. You know, water on a rock over time. The, it, you know, slowly it, wears it's down. It's called erosion. Okay. Well, well, here's the thing, caller. Why would you continue to do something that's literally causing uh, an indentation around your ears? That, I mean, do you have a do you have a uh, romantic what's, partner? What do they think about that? What's on the top of my head? And it, to be honest, at first it wasn't very noticeable, but I heard something about it online of other you know professional gamers. I start I I took off my headphones one night, and I noticed an indentation, and I'm. I'm actually balding in that area as well. It's getting worse and worse over time. You're balding around your ears? No, no, no. It's on the top of my head. That's the main location that it that happens. Pushing my skull down. And that's kind of what you said, eroding, eroding my skull. That's horrific. I'm so sorry that this has happened to you. Uh, but I, I wanted to put out a warning. This is this. I think anyone who games with headphones, which is a lot of gamers these days, probably have that same issue. Okay, in the chat, if you have, ex if you are a headphone wearing play uh, game player, please uh, assess that area of your head and maybe say in the chat if you're someone who has an indentation on your your skull. But anyway, caller, listen, listen. Okay. Playing games to the point where you're literally like deforming your your skull is clearly an indication of excess, don't you think? Well, I just wish I would have known sooner. I'm just uh, that's why I wanted to get the word I. It's been bad. It's I know. I know I can't think as well, I can't think straight. I used to be a semi-professional gamer. I can't even make the runner-up anymore to the, even qualify. Well, the indentation on your skull is not as bad as the indentation on your brain. And I don't mean just the physical pressing down on your brain. I mean the actual, like, circuitry in your brain. You've a, you're an addict. You're someone who who is... Your life is ruled and governed by games. No one in their right mind would do something as pointless as gaming for that long, let alone if it's literally uh, smushing their skull all up. Caller. I think. Well, so I think a lot. you're I'm being controlled forgotten. by video games. Video games are your master right now, and you need to be honest with yourself about that. You need to understand the severity of how deeply involved you are with gaming and how long that is. I, I don't know, I just forget, I guess. I, it's really gotten low, the indentation, and I just, uh, I, it's pretty bad. I'm not going to walk. Like, uh, like I said, I'm balding, and uh, I just, I don't think I can think straight anymore. I totally, I'm probably going to forget about this conversation after we have it, and I'm just going to, you know, go to bed, wake up the next day, and start gaming again. That I don't believe that. I believe that you're you're making excuses. What were we talking about? Oh, okay. Are you just trying to have a rumble dumble time with me? Oh, um, sorry. Are you just trying to pull a fast one? No, not at all. This is a real thing. That would be a very convenient time to forget our entire conversation. Right when I said that you might forget. Or sorry, right when we made the excuse. Uh, th that you would... No, I, I will say my caller, IQ listen. has dropped quite a bit. Well, listen, caller. 
I understand that that type of thing could happen without you noticing. There's some people that never see the tip of their head, okay? Uh, their entire life. I mean, I don't remember the last time I've, you know, looked at the tip of my head, uh, you know, under here and and had a good look at it because it's at a place where my eyes can't see, okay? But now that you know it's there, and you're neglecting it enough and you're not making things right and you're not straightening it out and you're not fixing the problem. Okay. That's, that is, that is gross negligence on your part and you need to take responsibility. And unfortunately, the only way you're going to do that is by reducing your gaming. Okay. My suggestion is get out of the obligation of playing games. Tell your team, Hey guys, I really like you guys as people, and I'd like to be on a team with you, but I'd like for it to be something more productive. Okay? Let's go Let's go play pickleball together. Instead of playing whatever dumb game that you guys all play. Because it's pointless and stupid. All of your games are pointless. None of them do anything for you in real life. Okay? And whoever follows you, follows you. But whoever doesn't, well, they're just going to have to get used to... Uh, having a head Both. that's a little bit off as well. Right. That's great advice. I, uh, I think after this next tournament, I'm really going to sit down and think about it. And I'll put a post-it note on my headphones to remind me not to use them. Write it on your calendar. Make a date. You're going to okay. quit and just do it. And I'll you're not going to be able to do this alone, caller. You're going to need to have like a support group or something like that beyond Call Carson. This is too, this is probably one of the worst cases I've ever heard of on this show. So I hope you'll consider my yeah, advice. Just, but anyway, this has been a long call, and Wilson, I'm going to ask you to cycle through. Um, that is bizarre. How that could even happen? To literally just wear a headphones so long. To the point where it literally sinks into your skull. Carson has sex with Wilson. Well, okay. All right, I haven't looked at the chat um, very often, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a look. And it's hard to look when I'm playing this stupid game. I, Wilson, just one more call. Hello. Hello, caller. You're on the air with Carson. Uh, welcome to the show. Hail Satan 666. Hail Satan 666. Hail Satan 666. Hey, 666. Wilson, aren't you, why aren't you hanging up on that filth? Okay. No, don't hail Satan. That is stupid. Satan is a loser. And that's like that's like saying, let's let's all support, uh, I don't know, Weird Al Yankovic or something like that. No I one actually it. likes that. Go ahead, caller. Hey, wait, wait, you don't like... You don't like Weird Al, Carson? No, Weird Al is absolutely filth and, and inappropriate. Anyway, go ahead, caller. Okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, so just to, I wanted to call in about two things. You know, just this week's been kind of tough looking in the news. Uh, you know, the whole Middle East situation with Israel and, and uh, Palestine. And I'm just curious. This, it kind of seems like a lot like a Call of Duty game. So do you think... Call of Duty is influencing what is happening in the Middle East for like marketing or something for their next game, like Modern Warfare 3 or 4? I wouldn't say that that's probable. Um, but let's talk about the, the people that are committing atrocities. Right. Could Call of Duty have been in their past? I guarantee you most of them. Really? Yeah, I guarantee I, I you I... most of the Hamas... Uh, soldiers if you want to even call them that um we're call of duty addicts at some point right I, I think i've actually seen a stat come through that um you know you've seen like 50 percent of of um residents in gaza are uh children you know young adults under 18 that i think that leads a lot to Call of Duty playing, you know, because Call of Duty is rampant among young people. So maybe it's just ingrained in their culture. Well, I'm not so willing to specu people. speculate about that, but I, I will say this, that it is an absolutely disgusting tra tragedy. And I 
every single day, every single moment of my life that I've prayed since I've heard about that. I've prayed for all the innocent lives being lost in Israel and in Palestine right now, civilians that didn't ask for any of this, and for all the lives that are just lost in general. Amen. All right. Sorry, I just don't want to get it too far into that, but, you know, um, people in, in chat have been saying something about a fan fiction of yours coming out. I know you're writing um, another book, but is that something you're going to tease tonight? Is that your big announcement? A this fan, fan fiction? fiction? Yeah. I what do you mean by that? I don't know. People are saying that you're writing a fan fiction. Um, I'm not sure what it's about. A fan fiction about what? I, I, I couldn't tell you. Well, I've never written a fan fiction in my life, but oh. you mean about the show? I don't. Maybe, maybe you're writing a fan fiction about the show. I, I'm no, not sure. No, I That's would never I'm... do that. Partially because I, I, I'm the only person on the show. I'm not here to be a fan over myself and write about myself. That would be a little bit zany, don't you think? Oh yeah. That start. Yeah, that would make sense. You know, but hey, you know, chat has their own ideas and. I just want to try and get that cleared up. Chat does? Oh. You know yeah. what? I'm going to pause this fil this game, and I'm going to look at the chat. Thank you, caller, for calling in. All right, Carson. You. All right. Let me just scroll up a little bit here, and I'm going to start addressing these chats. Um. Okay. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to start. Um, Billy says, I thought Rancher was a boy, but Carson called it a girl. Rancher is a trans. No, I only have one child. But what I was saying to that caller is I could be playing with my daughter. I could be playing with my son. I could be playing with my cousin, my grandpa, my grandma, my wife. I could be, my point is we all have families that we could be getting to. Okay. I don't need to address my son specifically. I'm just saying, I don't have to be doing this. I could be out, uh, I could be out with my pals in my backyard, um, smoking hot dogs around the fire. Okay, I don't have to be in here cooped up playing this this uh, game that I'm not really even caring all about. I'm sorry, I just had a lot of bad things happen to me recently. I'm not. Bredo call and I. Sh Wilson, please don't answer any calls. I'm reading the chat. Okay, let's see. Um, okay. Video game companies are going to start marketing their own wig lines, says Captain Kira. Well, I don't know how rampant that problem is. That sounds like a really unique situation. Um, but it is... I. Uh, if it if that ever happens, we are in an, a a very bad state of being as a, a species. Um, okay. Edgy Robotnik said, "Let's all take a moment to look at our foreheads." I don't think that's where the indentation would be. It'd be in the space, you know, connecting your the tips of your ears, probably, uh, mostly. Um, okay. 1XAN says, we should have a time limit on calls. You know what? I agree with you. Um, let's go ahead and let's all just discuss what that time limit should be. And then I'll, I'll try to adhere to it. Um, Mike Norton says, I'm not sure why Carson is allowing so much filth on the show tonight. I'm not allowing an ounce of filth, Mike. And, and I'm I'm sorry that it, it looks that way, but if I had it my way, there wouldn't be a single uh, cuss word on the show ever. Okay. Jackson Boyd says, I'm back. Has anyone asked him about the fan fiction? I, again, I don't know what that means. Maggie says, Lameo... Don't hate on Weird Al. I didn't say hate Weird Al, but I will say Weird Al is filth. 
Um, okay. Carson, if you can't play with others, you can play with yourself. Are you if you're talking about games, I don't believe in gaming when you're completely isolated. I'm I don't consider myself isolated right now because I have my brother Wilson on this call, and I also have other callers calling in. But if I were by, by myself, I wouldn't be doing this. Um, Justin Rogers said, "I like giving my sour cream in Brox chili." I'm not reading this in the chat. I don't know what you mean by that. Um, Happy Meg says, please stop with the filth. I second that. Um, hmm. Billy says, Carson is writing a fan fiction. I've never written a fan fiction in my entire life. And I think fan fictions are zany and weird. And I, I am not writing a fan fiction. Um, Captain Kira says Carson is squeaky clean. Well, um, I'd say I, I am. Um, Maggie says, to be fair, there's been more control of trolls tonight than most nights. Yes, I, I, but not nearly enough. Um, trope attack says Lameo is a satanic phrase. Hold on. Let me look it up. Okay, Happy Meg, just make sure that, that filth in the chat is not just uh, for people who type out the whole word, but also abbreviations as well. Um, let's see. Rose Anderson says, kisses ya gamer, but spells gamer with gay. G-A-Y. I, I don't know even how to respond to that. Brother Corey Trevor says, Maggie, you should call in to talk about your GTA addiction. Um, let's make sure that we're we're talking about our own addictions here. I don't know if M Maggie has that, but I think that it's not fair to call out other people's addictions uh, without their consent, consenting to it. Um, Edgy Robotnik says, fan fictions are too zany. I agree. Um, Steve Ocosta says, I'm writing a fan fiction short story about Meg the Moderator and Brock. Okay. Miller Auto Works says, Carson, are you addicted to game? No, I'm, I don't even know. As you guys can clearly see, I'm not even very good at gaming. If I were addicted to gaming and this bad at it, oh my goodness, what a waste of life. Not that being good at it would con constitute any less of a waste of life, but nevertheless, no, I don't even play video games outside of this one time a week to do this show. And I, don't, I, I know I'm being a little bit rough and tumble tonight, but I will say I, I, uh, I don't like playing video games, but I do this because otherwise if, if, if I'm trying to gather bees, wouldn't I want to use, like, pollen? Okay. If I go out there and start pollinating the internet, okay, with game videos and stuff like that, then gamers are like bees on pollen or flies on uh, dung. I'm not going to use that analogy, though for obvious reasons. If I start pollinating all over the internet, then people game game lovers are going to probably want to to gather that to land on that flower, if you will. And if they land on uh this flower and I have a chance to talk to them for just a moment, um and they gather something else than what they expected, that's my goal here. Um but I'm I'm not showing people how to game improperly. I'm showing them a more healthy way of playing game, which is not being alone, not doing it while snacking, um, not doing it uh, with microtransactions, and I'm not doing it uh, for hours upon hours on end. Okay, well, wonderful. 
I did the chili recipe, but was missing a special milk ingredient so hard to find, says Captain Kira. What chili recipe? That reminds me, I was supposed to post mine. I will try to do that by the end of the night if people will remind me on my Twitter. It's at Carson O. Kimball. Well, anyway, I'm going to listen to this caller and I'm going to take some more calls. Uh, well, well, wonderful. Uh, welcome to the show, caller. You're on the air. Ca caller? Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hey, thanks. Um, uh, the best way to overcome a gaming addiction that I found is to um, listen to Baba Booey and Howard Stern. And there's no salvation outside of the Catholic Church. Next, Wilson, next call. I don't even it's know it's where not, to start with. No white boy. I'm a nigger now. Huh? Hello? Caller, you're on the air. Please understand the rules before you call in but go ahead yeah um hey carson i was just curious so have you heard of the game roblox yes okay what do you have any initial thoughts on it i actually uh, i'm not a gamer but i've actually played roblox before i used really? to ah. i used to uh, my brother had actually suggested to me that I go on Roblox and he made my Roblox character a shirt that had the URL to my old YouTube show on it and awesome. walk around See, that's and talk. Roblox is the best. And I would go in this neighborhood and walk around and knock on people's doors and I would no tell way. them to watch my watch the, the show. Did you get any new viewers through that method? I don't know, but probably. Huh, that's that's fun. Yes, Roblox is just. I've been having a hard time with it. Cause it's so fun. You can customize your characters. There's endless adventures. You can play online with friends. It's but just, what I so also noticed about do. Roblox is, it was an unsupervised place where lots of what appeared to be children were basically in a virtual hangout without parental supervision. And once I realized the demographics that play it. I uninstalled the game and didn't play it again because I, I just think it happened. No, I just, it was a weird feeling knowing that there's a bunch of 10 year olds all around. Yeah. I think it's kind of fun though. Okay. How old are you caller? Uh, I'm 28. Well, how would you feel if your children were playing with a 28 year old in a unsupervised chat room? Uh, if they were as, as fun and as funny as me, I wouldn't care. <laughs> well, caller, I would advise that you don't play online games, especially those that have a high concentration of of child. Yeah, well, I think it's like the older guys who are the weirdos. I'm not, though. I just like hanging out with like young kids, touching them spiritually. How would you do that spiritually on Roblox? Well, just like, because like, you can type messages, you can talk to them one-on-one -on -one and just kind of give them guidance, you know, because they're young and they're confused. My brother actually built me a house in Roblox and it actually had spiritual paintings on the walls, um, some that I had purchased in real life from Deseret Book. And he put like, them on like the walls Joseph Smith. and created a virtual version of our house. Yeah, and that's what's nice with, like, if, like, the economy, you can always, like, go to that house. If you're, like, house, you have to Well, anyway, color. Before. my point is this. You shouldn't be playing Roblox. Okay, well, I just... I, here's the thing, though. <laughs> I knew you will die in 72 hours. <laughs> Sorry about that. Wilson, oh, no, I no, I Wilson he's just having a joke with me. 
He's just trying to literally yank my chain, and I'm, I'm and all of the all the families that are watching. Okay. Hello. Go ahead, caller. Hey, how are you? I'm, um, you know, I've had a rough and tumbled time in the last forty-eight hours, so I'm not in the greatest of moods. But uh, what 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 can I do for you, caller? Um, so it was interesting how you were talking about how uh, headsets are uh, bad for your head, but right now you aren't wearing, you're wearing a hat and that's going to give you a receding hairline. I already have a receding hairline. I was born with it. Oh, that's, that's very unfortunate. But you also don't have blue light glasses on. That's going to deteriorate your eyes because you're looking at a screen. I, I'm not looking at it for very long. My average screen time per week is less than two hours. How do I know you're not lying to me and that you're just saying that for the viewers? You don't. I don't need to prove anything to you. Uh, why is that? Because you're not in... Frankly, your opinion of me is not as important as you might assume it is. Mm. You know when a Nintendo is owned by somebody who does not believe... And God, the same person who made Mario. Well, Actually, I'm not surprised by, uh, about that because here's the thing: and you're playing, you're playing their game, so you're you're kind of being a saying this here. Dumb fuck, dumb fuck, nigga, dumb fuck, nigga, dumb fuck. You guys, I'm not willing to be in the mood for this, this absolute waste of my time. So please, if you're a well-meaning caller, call in. If you're not, then I'm just going to stop doing this. Uh, Wilson, you can, you can answer another call if, if you li like. Fine. If you're not going to do... I'm just going to look at the chat. But I'm going to pause this stupid because game. Since I... If I had a blood pressure cuff on right now, I'd be 200 Yo. over 1,000. Hello? Hey, I had to quickly let you know because I know kids are watching. The character that you are right now is Donkey Kong, I think. The one you were previously before these races, it's called Toad. And I don't know if you noticed, but he resembles a mushroom. And that the original creators intended that to be innuendo for S-O-M-O-K-I-N-G mushroom. He's, you understand what I'm saying? Really? I mean, I believe you call her, but I'm just... Is that really what the care? How do you know that? Was there like an interview with the creator of it that said that? It was actually it was actually a leaked phone call. Like, but it, it was actually wild. That's why Mario's always trying to receive. You know, he powers up through mushrooms. He plays as a mushroom character. Well, and I I I figured as much. In fact, I had a, a rap song that I had created. Um, I don't endorse rap ninety nine percent of the time, but I actually said that in the song. I oh, said, the brothers eat shrooms, so I'll give them a try. But now uh, your brain is turned to mush just to chase the high. Right. Uh, that's, so. actually a good, that's actually a good line because it you know refers to gaming. and that's what, um, I don't know if you... you it's like completely take this with a grain of salt. Maybe this is another wacky theory. My boss at work, he's a great guy. He said he has a friend in the military or some, like some secret. No, I don't even know. He said he couldn't even tell me his name. He said they're legitimately uh, the military in the future is actually going to hire like the people with the highest reaction times on like Call of Duty, Halo, all of that because we're actually going into a sort of not in-person warfare, more like remote and more drone type type warfare. I'm like my boss never lied to me before. I was like, okay, that's like interesting theory, but. So actually, the people on the top game leaderboards, those are legitimately going to be our 
military and marines and whatnot well well i hope they have special chairs for all of them too because those people are probably obese at the same time but wouldn't that just be like zany like okay now we have to bow down to this obese marine commander i will tell you that i will animal. not bow down to any obese marine com commander and if, even if they're defending our country and everything they wouldn't be they'd be leaving us vulnerable like with, with remote drones and like mechs and things like that because the reaction time is so fast around the top leaderboard of League of well, Legends. Well, you know what? That's a better... As long as they're not playing League of Legos or whatever it is, then fine. Then yeah, I exactly. salute them for their service. But if this is to coincide with gaming, no. Right. What a, why would you ever want someone serving in the military who's a, an, addict, an addict to video games? Uh, that, that's what I was saying. So the fate of our country is just deciding on if you have greasy potato chip fingers or not, right? Like, gosh, no, Kimbo. You had a reverse circumcision in seventy-two hours, and Trump defied you, motherfucker. Wilson, do you not hear what he's saying about circumcision? I know that's not a technical cuss word, but what he's saying about it is absolutely uncalled for and filth. Hello? Hello? I'm going to test you, caller. What are the rules of this show? Um, Scroll gosh, down no. to the description in your browser underneath the video and read the rules for me. Okay, read the rules. Hold on. I'm gonna have. To, I'm sorry, caller. I know that you probably yes. have something important to talk to me about, but in case you're a troll, or even if you're not, I want everyone to uh, hear these rules. No, no, no. That's fine. I, I got them. Got them pulled up here. Give me one second. Go it ahead. says rule number one: do not cuss when using the calling feature. Number two: please be kind to others who struggle and all others in the community. Number three. Please do not share information that would identify yourself, family, or otherwise put you at risk for being doxxed. Number four, do not make fun of or heckle the streamer's gaming performance as there are many factors that would make it difficult to play at one's best, including being watched by an audience live, as well as the fact that I did not grow up playing video games. We actually went outside more often than not and played in the backyard, as well as hunting and sports and other activities. Number five, please make this a safe environment for those who struggle with addiction and offer support and encouragement towards those who join for help. And finally, the last one, number six, do not say other vulgar things even if it's not cussing. Okay. Is that clear to everyone out there and the caller that's just called in? Is this is, is that not crystal clear? And please, maybe the word crystal is not the right one to use. It might be a, a trigger word for people in the audience. But go ahead, Carl. Okay. Uh, appreciate you taking my call, Carson. Um, hey, I'm calling in tonight because I've got a little bit of a weird addiction going on here. Um, my video game addiction has led to me to having a food addiction. I was wondering if you'd be willing to talk to me about that and try to give me some help. Okay. Well, because it's directly related to your gaming addiction, yes. So w why do you think you've started excessively eating after gaming? Well, my problem is because when I play video games, I'm so used to using my hands and I constantly feel the need to be fidgety with my hands. I've developed... Um, an addiction to eating walnuts, but specifically eating the, the whole nut using a nutcracker tool to bust the, the nut open and then scoop the uh, meat out of the inside. Right, because it incorporates your thumbs, see? So you're a thumb, you're using thumbs a lot when you're gaming. And so now to, to bust the nut open, you need to use your your thumb and you need to use your other fingers at the same time. Yes. Exactly. Squeeze the, I'm, I'm the just, nutcracker. I'm, I'm busting nuts like nonstop, and I just 
It gives me that same dopamine rush like I'm playing when I play a video game, like I'm accomplishing something. And it's been really a, a, a bad struggle, like all the nut busting I'm doing. Okay. Well, walnuts are not particularly unhealthy. They are high in fat, but also protein as well. So maybe you could switch to a ketogenic diet and you could still enjoy, uh, you know, all the nuts. You you could put all the nuts in your mouth like a squirrel would fill them all up <laughs> um, and you should be fine doing so. That's a good point. I suppose for me, it's probably more so from a time consuming standpoint. I just find I'm just busting nuts just nonstop, like all day, every day. Well, there's like, worse things that you could be doing. Than, time. There's worse things you you could be doing than uh, nut cracking. No, that's that is true. More specifically, with my problem, Carson, I had two specific uh, questions I wanted to ask. Get uh, your help on some advice from you, if that's okay. Um, with my uh, walnut eating issue that I've got here, um, one of them has to do with another food item that triggers the addiction. I don't know exactly why. But it has to do with uh, melons from the uh, from the fruit category, and so I'm not sure what it is. But like when my wife goes grocery shopping, and then she comes back from the store and she walks in, say like holding a pair of the biggest melons you've ever seen, like I just got to bust the nut like right then and there. Like I don't know what the trigger is between those those two food groups, but. It's kind of bad, man. Like I just can't control myself. Once again, I, I don't think it's melons. really all that bad. Um, is okay because you're you're Good. able to use your nut cracker on the go, and honestly, that's a better habit than smoking. It's a better habit than gaming, you know. And if you have a diet that allows for, you know, heavy consumption of nuts, then, mm -hmm. you know, you that could not necessarily be a maladaptive coping mechanism. Okay, so so maybe not worry about that one so much right there. With but you uh, should worry about the gaming element. Yeah, that's true. It has the, the gaming addiction has definitely led to the whole nut busting. But if I had to um, ask myself, uh, would I rather be uh, busting open nuts or gaming with my thumbs? I'd rather be putting my thumbs to the nuts, okay, rather than putting them to the games, Con the game controllers. So okay. you know no, what? Yeah, if it's a trade-off, it's if it's an either-or, I could say that. You're not excessively eating necessarily, but you are uh, using, you are utilizing the twitching desire of your thumb to use a nutcracker. And I consider that to be a gray area. It's not really maladaptive, but I wouldn't say it's a slam dunk, perfect behavior to be having, but yeah, it's a it, lot better than gaming. It, it is. It's just, it's tough sometimes. Like my wife will walk in on me and like, you know, she sees me because like I'm doing that when I'm not playing video games, and she's just like, "Are you busting a nut again?" Like, and I don't know. She just gets well. Ex frustrated. Explain to her that it's it's because you're not gaming. And I guarantee you, any wife would be like, "Oh, okay. Well, then I understand." You know what I mean? Yeah, she's gonna I, I support try to you. Help her join in on me. Yeah, help her join in on me. You know, why don't you, you know, take a walnut and bust a nut with me? You know, but yeah, take a walk down Walnut Road with me. <laughs> If you will. That's right. Exactly. Okay. So, well, you know what, caller? I'll consider this to be a win for you. I mean, I know you're probably expecting me to, to condemn the behavior, but I think that that's a good behavior compared okay. to gaming. Well, hey, I, I, I appreciate that. I'll, I'll just keep on, you know, doing that. Maybe people listening, you know, can maybe do this as a substitute behavior for their gaming, you know? So right. I, I appreciate that, Carson. Well, wonderful. Thank you for calling in. Okay, I'm going to pause this game and read some of the chat. Um, Hello? Okay. Uh, hold on, caller, uh, just a second. I'm just going to try and read some of the chat. Where did my chat go? Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay. Well, wonderful. Listening to these rules is gay, Carson. 
please tell us more addiction advice? No, reading the rules is not uh, gay. It's necessary. Okay. Um, Edgy Robotnik says something uh, very supportive. He says, don't worry about cracking nuts. When you see melons, they're both very tasty snacks. I agree with you. Um, Captain Kira says, Carson values nuts more. Good for him. Well, I do value nuts more than games, obviously. I think I speak for everyone here when I say we all prefer thumbs on nuts rather than games. Well, I hope everyone prefers that. Um, Carson, this caller is... Happy Meg WV. There is a filth uh, chat in the chat box. Um, Boo Radley Senior says, "What is this level that you're playing? That I'm playing right now? Pride Flag Road? Is it? I think it's just a rainbow road." Um. Okay. Well, wonderful. Tropitech says, Carson, can we have a stream of you building Legos to show different wholesome activities outside of Nen's Hendo 64 games? Um, maybe in the future. Um, Car Jackson Boyd says, Carson, please, the calls are backed up like the nut buster. And then Tropitech says, wait, what are we to do during No Nuts November? Okay. Anyway, go ahead, caller. Can Can you hear me, Carson? Go ahead, caller. Okay. Well, Carson, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much. You said that you didn't believe you could help me, but you really have. Okay. Well, uh, are you a previous caller? Yes, Carson. I, I called Friday about my sister's passing and my lapse in the gaming addiction and oh yes well yes yes and okay. you, you kind of gave me a little bit of words of encouragement but after our chat you know watching you swim through the sludge just looking for a single drop of clear water really left an impact on me that day it really showed me what someone could really persevere through well wonderful and after yeah and after your show i really thought about what you said to me and what my sister would think is best for me. Okay, and what was that? Well, that's just it, Carson. I I had this weird dream that night, and it really woke me up. And I just want to kind of explain it to you because it was really, it was like both, you know, zany, but at the same time, it really helped me. So, yeah. And so, like I said, it's, it's a little zany, because you know how dreams are, but I, so in this dream, I was at Carl's Jr. with my sister, and we we're sharing a superstar with cheese. And okay. you know, it was like all fine and happy. And then I remember I blinked, and as my eyes opened, she was gone, Carson. And I looked around, and I couldn't find her. And then I stood up and I looked around, and everyone turned at me, and they were crystal, Carson, and they're all pointing and laughing at me. And while they're laughing at me, the sound of a train whistle was playing in the background. And I just started to cry, and I ran away into the bathroom, and I collapsed. And as I was there sobbing, just darkness engulfed me. And I just felt lost, lost in this void and alone. But then I felt this warm body reach around and take a firm hold of me. And I was shocked it was you, Carson. It was you and it was just just like in that movie scene you showed you began singing to me like that pig the farmer to that pig mm -hmm. and i began to just slowly leak my frustrations hmm. and then you began to dance <laughs> just as in and you and as you danced it was pretty much you wishing that i could finish by myself and as you jumped, I felt even more my fr frustrations leave. Mm, okay. Well, that's yeah. a really vivid dream that's very close to everything that we've, you know, been discussing on this show. And 
I'm, I'm really, I will say this. I'm, I'm really surprised to hear, just because sometimes I feel very inadequate in what I'm doing, but I, I'm glad to hear that a show, this show has been so impactful for you that it would constitute, it would uh, seep into your subconscious so deeply. Um, but I'm glad that you had that dream, and I, I can picture yeah. everything vividly in my, my head, and I encourage everyone else to do that. Uh, yeah, Carson, I agree. And I just feel like in this dream, it's just like that farmer with the pig, and you know, I believe that the pig could do the impossible and be a sheepdog. I just think you really believe that I could beat this addiction. And I did, and I do. Yes, and I feel like, you know, afterwards, you just seem like you embraced me and you filled me with your love. And it's like just as the last of my frustrations expelled out of me, the light seemed to return. And in that blindness, I remember my sister, she lowered down from above and we embraced each other and had and were intimate one last time. And okay. I woke up in shock, Carson, and I believe I found closure. Well, wonderful. Yes. And I, I think I finally understood what you meant. And I understand that she doesn't want this gaming life for me. So I've since that day, I stopped it all together and I haven't played since but Carson I wanted to prove to you that I'm done and I wanted to clean myself from this so I read online that um, you can uh, completely get rid of uh, CDs and DVDs and stuff uh, with a little bit of a chemical mixture and I read online that if you mix ammonia and bleach they can get rid of it so I got me some ammonia right here and bleach and I'm going to destroy them right now Carson Okay, well, wonderful. Um, I uh, I've never read that online, but uh, I mean, you are welcome to do whatever uh, it takes for you to do according to your own research. Oh. Arson, I I just mixed the chemicals together, and I'm putting them in right now. I'm going to put the game console in there too. It should dissolve them all. And if I came to play the games, I can never play it again. It's there's no possible way. So I'm I'm putting them in now, and wow. as I'm doing it, I'm watching them just slowly eat them away. They're like almost gone, Carson. And I just you I just should probably watch film them. I just feel free, Carson. Yeah, I wish I could. It's a little dark, so I don't know if it'll come out very clear. But you know, I I think I just feel free that you know, I my eyes are feeling a little watery right now. My skin feels a little tingly, like it's burning, but. I, I think it's just the, the feeling of, you know, That's, being released. That might be something that I call the spirit. <clears throat> yeah, Carson. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> but I uh, I just feel great, Carson. And I just want to show you, like I said, I just want to do this as a proof. Of <clears throat> oh, sorry. I just, <clears throat> um, I just feel like... Maybe you should get me. away from the bleach a little bit. Bleach can yeah, be very maybe. strong. Yeah, I, I think I'm having a little bit of a reaction to it. <clears throat> it does. Okay. It does. It does make like a little bit of a gashes. Okay. Well, wonderful. But well, anyway, but Carson, yeah, it must feel again. really good to be able to get rid of those things. <clears throat> Carson, I, I appreciate you. Uh, let me share my dream, and I just want to let you. <clears throat> I just want to let you <coughs> really know uh, that even though you didn't think you could do something, you really did help me. But I, I, I think I need to get away. I, I think it's messing with me a little bit. Again, well, I don't, I'm not sure if it's the chemicals or the liberation, you know. <coughs> well, wonderful. I, I, I really am glad that your life is now ahead of you. And you have a, a fresh start, a clean, fresh slate to start over. Uh, I agree, Carson. I really agree. Well, All right. Wonderful. But Carson, I, I don't, thank you I don't for want to eat up any too. more of your time. But, but Caller, I think you should get thank some you. fresh air. Okay. Well, wonderful. That was great. Um, that That's that's wonderful to hear that uh, someone had such a big turnaround. Um, I am going to go on a quick break real fast. Hey. I have to go hey, Carson, check on my son. Hello, caller. Hey, Carson. I heard you're going on break, so I just had a quick something I wanted to say to the people struggling with gaming. Okay, well, wonderful. Go ahead. Real real quick. All right, yeah, I'll make it brief. So this is just some advice that my, my pops gave to me. It, it's very simple. Gaming is gay. 
That's why gay is at the beginning of gaming. And I don't know. And then you're watching this game right here. And there's Rainbow Road. It's like it's very obvious what Nintendo is trying to do here. So anyways, if you don't want to turn into one of them transgender, gay, they, them, faggots, then stop playing them games. Uh, no, no saying filth. That is a filth word. So anyway, I'm going to go on a quick break.
Well, wonderful. I'm back and I feel refreshed. Um, <coughs> and I'm indulging in a guilty pleasure. I do enjoy zero sugar, zero caffeine, um, Coca Cola sometimes. So, anyway, I'm going to open up the phone lines once again. And uh, yeah, so. Uh, well, wonderful. Let me take a look at the chat. <clears throat> Billy says we should all mix bleach and ammonia together, rid of our games. Um, Brother Corey Trevor says one of my wives is passed out after dissolving our computer. What? Captain Kira says I want to know who penned this Carson banger theme. Um, well, wonderful. Uh, Bob, the builder says, this is how the show is going to get banned permanently. Judas priest. I'm sorry. I feel like there's a lot of inside jokes or something that I'm not references. I'm not getting, um, um, let's see. Um, I'm sure Carson is prepping a roast for dinner on this break, needing to tenderize the meat. He's vigorously beating the meat right now. It would be far too late for me to be starting a roast. Um, so no. Um, well, wonderful. Hello, Carson. Do you fuck Wales on SS? No, this isn't what... It, okay. Well, wonderful. Um, okay, well, I'm willing to take a few more calls, but I'd like to make an announcement to everybody while I'm still here. Um, and maybe if there's no callers, I'll just go... But anyway, if you look at the description in this video, you will see that the Call Carson official merch store has officially opened. Well said. I'm sorry, I keep trying to show everyone this, but not, it's not coming up. I apologize. Okay, well, anyway, um, there is a sticker available and a shirt, and there was supposed to be a video that just played to show you guys, but, um, and a, or in a picture, but there's, or sorry, a song in a picture, but there was neither the song or the picture are starting for some reason. Let me try and click it again. I don't see it's not working. But anyway, you can see for yourself if you go to the description beneath the video and that'd be a, a, a fun way to support the show. If you do purchase a shirt or want to slap a sticker on your bumper of your car, um, please do. Uh, uh, if you want, you can take a picture of yourself and uh, we'll, we will feature you on the next uh, episode, the Happy May WV episode or another episode. Anyone who purchases a shirt, um, I, I will, uh, if they send me a picture of themselves wearing it and it's not a troll picture or something like that, I will uh, do a shout out to you on the air and post that picture uh, once a week. So, well, wonderful. Um, well, uh, once, uh, but, but once a week, I'll, I'll acknowledge the people that do send in a picture. Um, well, wonderful. 
Roy Boy says, can I get a cool flex hat with that image on it? Stay tuned. More merch is coming down the pipeline. Um, well, wonderful. Um, name says, no, I want to see it so much. Okay, I'll try again. Okay, so I'm clicking on it right now, and it's just saying loading, and nothing is happening. It's not, I'm sorry, it's not working. Um, but anyway, uh, there's more merch coming down the pipelines. So please stay tuned for that. Um, well, anyway, there's no more people calling in. So uh, I, I could just uh, uh, hang up my hat for the evening. But at the outset, I just want to thank everyone who, uh, you know, who participates every week. And I know this is a very small audience and I am working to try and uh, reach out to more people. Um, but I want to personally thank everyone who tunes in every week. Um, you know what? I'll even start calling you out by name. Brother Corey Trevor. Hello. Uh, go. Hello. Oh, oh, where's, there's another call. Go ahead, caller. I think the merchandise is fire. I'm definitely buying a t-shirt tonight. <laughs> um, they oh, are unis they're unisex, right? So like the men's XL, should we just do XL or double XL? You'll have to consult a sizing chart in order to de okay. de decide which uh which size would fit you best. Okay. Do you have a sizing chart on the web? site or just should i just google that outside of the website um if you go on the website there should be some sort of a section that will that help you uh, get to get to that place and uh, this this brings up the question i don't know if you'd ever do it but would you ever do like a, a pop-up or meet and greet and for us local uh utah people where we can actually you know buy merch in real life and maybe get autographs so, or... i will say this it would have to coincide with more growth of call Carson. I have oh. promised though, that if I ever reach 100,000 subscribers, I will not only do a meet and greet, but we'll do a live call Carson slash Mormon talk event in either Provo, Utah or Salt Lake city, Utah. And I will make sure that Fred, maybe even Brett, okay. if he's willing and Brock will be in attendance. No way. And we will uh, not only do a meet and greet, but we'll do a live performance of talents for you guys. Uh, let me guess. Brett's going to whip out that bad, Joe. <laughs> if he's there, I'm sure that he'll whip out Woody, which is his banjo's name, uh, for everybody. Oh, mercy. The only issue I see with that is once you're at 100,000 subscribers, how am I going to get a signed Carl Carson t-shirt? Because you'll have so many fans. By so showing up like... to the event. Okay. Well, I'm definitely ordering the merch ASAP. I'm going to rep it at the gym at Vasa Fitness and, and, and try to spread the word. Oh, okay? you're a Vasa uh, subscriber, are you? Oh, yeah. Me too. Oh, yeah. Vasa, <laughs> awesome, bro. Hey, man. Uh, maybe I'll see you at American Fork Vasa sometime, bro. We can I am actually, I, I go to the one up in Saratoga Springs, actually. Oh, God. My bad. Um, that, yeah, that one would be the next closest one for me. Maybe I'll see you up there on the weekend. If I ever need a spot, I'll be like, hey, Carson. You're a little bigger than me. I know muscular wise, but could you spot me on bench press? You know, oh, I'll right. spot. I'll. I will absolutely spot you if I ever run into you at Vasa. Um, <laughs> but anyway, boss. well, wonderful. Um, well, thank you Appreciate for your it. call. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> everyone's. I've already announced that announcement before, but I'll just reaffirm it here. I will be doing a live Mormon talk slash call Carson event, and I you can bet your money on that. Hey, um, all these people that um have long calls, uh, can we have a time limit of like three minutes, please, Carson? Fuck those niggers for having.
we were ending the show on a good note. We're ending it with a positive calls. With two positive calls Hello? in a row. We're ending it with positive call after positive call. And we're ending it with a call that was Hello? was was very spe- hold on caller, very special and where there were wonderful announcements made and I wanted to just end it. Okay? I wanted to end it then and there. But no. Someone had to call in and say the number one word that is banned from this show, not that any are not banned, that are cuss words, but N is the absolute most filth word you can say on the show. Okay? And I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's you the, the fact that you guys are uh, addicted to dopamine rush or if you guys are just antisocial or something like that, or you're so used to killing people in Grand Theft Auto or something like that. And you, you take out your, your race themed, uh, hatred on the show, but I'm not here to tolerate that anymore. Okay. I'm sick and tired of this show being treated like just a little rumble, dumble dunk tank. Okay. I'm not going to sit here and take that, uh, Belonky anymore. Okay. Yeah. You can make fun of me cause I don't use cuss words like you, but it actually just means I have a higher IQ than you. And that's literal science. <sighs> I guess Wilson answered another call. Go ahead. Hi Garson. It's me, uh, Jennifer Craig. Okay. Well, welcome. I, I just wanted to say last week, uh, you really gave me uh, a talking to, and uh, I'll, I'll admit I was, I was in bed crying for about three and a half days. It's just, I, it just really upset me, but something came over me and I don't know what it is. I just, I felt so great. I just, I felt motivated and I, I think it was your words, and I, I went out there, and I, I walked into Target, I walked into Cafe Rio, I, you know, I went, I went back to Costco, and I handed them my resume, and I said, you know, you want me for this job, and I'm, I deserve this, and I presented myself, you know, and I, I, I stopped gaming, and uh, I haven't gotten a call back on any of these uh, jobs yet, but. I, I feel like I'm getting somewhere. Oh, well, wonderful. I'm glad to hear that you are getting somewhere. Um, and I'm glad to hear that you're uh, taking responsibility and realizing that you were just making excuses by uh, doing a an SEX work job instead of an actual real job. Yeah, I just want to warn everyone to not play Grand Theft Auto. There's... There's something that gets inside of you when when you play it, it turns you into a bad person. If you're not Wilson, you're three not minutes have ended. That, Will Wilson, three minutes are over. Okay, well, wonderful. Um, sorry, I was just uh, making good on my promise to uh, do the uh, the three minute timer on everything. Um, well, wonderful. Let's see. Let me take a look at the chat. Um. Hey, Carson. <sighs> Hold on one sec. Bob the Builder is spreading a lie saying, wasn't there a study that showed high IQ people cuss more? No. That's not true. Yeah, a study made up by, cuss, uh, by uh, sailor mouths, perhaps. Yeah, more like Southern Utah cuss diversity. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, go ahead, caller. Um, I just want to say I really enjoyed t- today's show, and I'm really excited about the merch drop. Oh, well, wonderful. And I can't wait to get a T-shirt. I might even get a sticker for my car. <laughs> well, wonderful. What kind of car are you driving there? Uh, so I have a Prius X5. Oh, well, wonderful. Those are have very great mileage. Yeah, it's kind of slow, <laughs> but I like it. Maybe I'll see you on the road. <laughs> Well, maybe um, I, so. I just wanted to say, Carson, I just had a thought for you, okay? So I just want you to keep this in mind. The bigger you grow, 
the more hate you'll get. So maybe maybe all the splashes is actually a good thing because it's showing that you're growing. Well, I I don't know about that. I feel like um oh I was gonna shout out everyone in the chat that I see constant consistently, but I feel like uh the show uh I just I don't know how to I don't know how to get it on out there. But I feel like if I could reach more people, um you know this would be even more worth it. Um, but if and I I agree, I'll give you a little anecdote. So the one video I've made in my life that was big. I got a lot of hate on it, and I think it's it just it goes hand in hand a lot of the time. So just don't let it get to you. Oh well, wonderful. Okay, well, thank you for that caller. Um, I, I appreciate that. Uh, that those kind words. I'm gonna start doing some shout outs here. I want to give a shout out to Trope Attack uh, for being a consistent viewer of the show. Roy Boy, Captain Kira. Mathalooza, uh, Bob the Builder, even, um, Edgy Robotnik, I feel like I've seen a few times, uh, 1XAN, thank you for being a viewer of the show. Um, thank you to Brother Corey Trevor. Thank you to Maggie, um, who is not only a viewer of the show, but also a, uh, a minor star of the Call Carson Mormon Talk Sing Star uh, I guess you could say, uh, brands, um, because she was a, uh, final contestant, uh, in SingStar. Happy Meg WV goes without saying, um, Justin Rogers, I've seen many times, I think, um, Bill, Billy, I'm pretty sure I've seen, I've seen Oops definitely before. Um, thank you for being a viewer of the show. Oops. Um, thank you, Jackson Boyd, for being a, a viewer of the show and supporting the show. Thank you, Mathalooza. I, did I already say that? Um, thank you to Steve Acosta. Acosta, Acosta? Thank you. Thank you to, uh, uh, let's see here. Try, Brother Nick, of course. Um, kind of to Mike Norton, um, I guess. Uh, thank you to um, the art of floundering, of course. Um, but anyway, yeah, there's a, just a few that I could shout out. Um, I want to thank the people. I want to thank my viewers. I don't think I do that often enough. And I think that, uh, you know, it emboldens trolls when I uh, let them take up all the airtime. So I could be answering calls right now. But you know what? There's like a 40% chance it's just going to be a troll. So I'd rather do a 100% chance of uh, having a wholesome way to end the show by taking matters into my own hands and thanking people. So thank you to all those people that I uh, just uh, shouted out for being viewers of the show. Um, I know that there are others that are not here today. So if you watch this uh, later on, thank you. And uh, yeah, well, wonderful, everyone. Next week is Happy Meg WV Day. Um, and so please be there. She will be here to answer your calls. And I look forward to a talent-filled evening as well. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in to the show. And I will catch you next time. Um, um, Make sure to reduce your gaming in the meantime. <laughs>
Yeah, no, hey man, I just wanted to say sorry for, you know, getting a little bit rough with you. Um, I just, you know how stressful it is when people, right. No, you, you did, you did improve though. No, I think you did. I think you did. I think that you, your speed started to pick up and I even saw a, I know you can't see the chat, I don't think, but. I saw a comment. Someone was saying that there's less filth this show than in previous times, so that's a win. So you know what? Even though, even if it's not perfect, uh, sometimes you just gotta, you know, carry water with a with a leaky bucket, as long as you're carrying the water. Yeah. So I wanted to um, ask you. So I kept trying to open the um, the uh, merch trailer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kept pressing it, but it was nothing was happening. Yeah. So what would happen is I press on it, and it would show one image, and it would show like me like doing um, the like sitting there like with my like webcam on, and then it would do another one with like me sorry with the actual video but it was just like frozen like so it showed two different like uh square or windows at once mm -hmm. studio mode what do you mean Okay, where is that though? Okay. So it's on the O the OBS uh application. Okay. Well, I'll look for it, but I, I don't I don't see it right now. But um yeah. So yeah, maybe I'll just post it or play it next week or something. Okay. All right, well, thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Yeah, we are planning on that. Yeah, so tomorrow, do you want to do, like, 4.30? Okay, that sounds great. Um, okay. Are we going to carpool, or? Okay. Yeah. Scarlet will be down. Uh, it'll, it'll be fun, so. All right, bro. I'll catch you later. Love you. All right. Night, Wilson. <laughs> okay.
Video games don't cause violence. They do something much worse. Video games turn us into furries. Late 90s and early 2000s kids were bombarded with TV shows, movies, and yes, video games featuring anthropomorphic characters, which in and of itself isn't too bad, but if your game has characters that look like this, Holy what did you think would happen? Don't believe me? Just look at some of these characters from these games. Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! I mean, I wasn't attracted to any of those characters when I was a kid. I'm not a weirdo. Son of a bitch. Video games don't cause violence. They do something. First rule, no talking. Does that mean... Hi, my name is Steve. Uh, I work here at Larry Green Chevrolet and service department. Uh, for any Every time you play a video game, it doesn't end with the video game, right? You're going to be thinking about the match and you're going to be molding because you had some noob and they had some person who was a smurf. And so for the next hour after your match, you're thinking in a negative space and then there's no room for creativity. I want to talk to you all today about something that I call the professional tipping point, which is the point at which your natural... our indrias. So our indrias are our sense organs, and one of the really interesting things about our sense organs is that they cultivate our thoughts. So what the yogis essentially discovered was that my sensory input is going to shape the thoughts that I have. And this concept of indrias cultivating particular thoughts also explains a little bit about why we get stuck in unproductive things. So when I spend my time playing a video game, watching a video game, reading discussions about a video game, what do you think I'm going to think about? And it's not just video games, right? So I see so many people engaged in political content without ever doing anything productive. Right, So I'm reading tweets from people who are political trolls, mm. and I'm agreeing with tweets that I love. Mm. I am crapping on tweets that I dislike, responding to them, trolling with them, and I'm not even voting. Right, So this is like people engage in politics in such an unproductive way. Mm -hmm. And then what do I end up doing? I end up having conversations about it. I get end up getting into fights with my family members over holidays because all in my mind I have these political thoughts, political thoughts, political thoughts. And where are all those, those political thoughts and argumentative thoughts, those divisive thoughts coming from? They're coming from my indrias. Same is true of video games, right? So whatever we bombard our senses with, are going to be what we naturally think about. If you're mm. interested in that concept, by the mm. way, we th that's a huge part of Dr. K's guide to ADHD and doing stuff, and y'all can kind of check that out, where we really explore the
back top down Sitting in the drive but she wouldn't get out The dogs were all barking and a wagging around And I just laughed and said you all get in She had on a new dress and she curled her hair She was looking too good not to go somewhere Said what you wanna do baby I don't care We can go to the show We can stay right here and I can Yo, yo, listen up, Mario's no star He puts a glue to the couch so you can't get far You'll become an elephant but not in Mario Wonder Super sorry bro, you gotta know he's not a real plumber That's the trick, the hook, Miyamoto's lie Mario is just like me, a regular guy The brothers eat shrooms, so I'll give him a try But now your brain has turned to mush just to chase the high Ditch that switch, you're a man, not a kid It might be tough, but trust me, you'll be glad you did Level up at the gym, get a home in the car Be a superstar and life star, raising the bar Stars fall down from heaven and scatter upon the earth as strangers in a strange land, forgetting their heavenly birth. Adrift and untethered, they wander through kingdoms of darkness and light. Unschooled and unlearned, they follow the tides, and many are lost in the Revealing the mystery Endowing the stars with his power and might He shows them their destiny Hey guys, it's Miharu. When you think about the most popular furry characters in video games, who comes to mind first? Well, we all have different answers, male or female, but many of us would probably say the blue vixen herself, Crystal. Despite making her debut in what would later be seen as the black sheep of the Star Fox franchise, she would skyrocket in popularity in the years that followed, eventually becoming a core member of the Star Fox team, a highly requested Smash edition, and an icon for furries everywhere. Even those who don't know anything about the series are bound to know who she is. The curious case of Crystal is that, when you think about it, we really don't know anything about her. She's one of those characters that seemingly gained popularity solely due to her fan art friendly design and sultry English accent. The game manual does give us a small explanation about how she finds herself on Soria, saying she's the sole survivor of the planet Serenia, searching for the truth behind the destruction of her home. Unfortunately, the importance of this quest comes to a halt after her less than 15 minute playable section at the beginning of the game, and is never brought up again in subsequent titles. But there was a lot more planned for her than what that tiny paragraph told us, and some of it you may find surprising. So let us go back to the late 90s and explore the origin of Crystal. 
After the completion of Diddy Kong Racing, British game developer Rare was hard at work on what would be their final title for the N64. Set to be released in 2001, it was to be their swan song, a masterpiece that As the adopted daughter and student of a great wizard, Crystal could be described as cool and collected, skilled in both combat and magic with a strong desire to protect those in need. I saw her as the type who kept personal problems to herself and instead focused on helping others, with Kite often relying on her support to keep calm in stressful situations. So what happened to her in the transition to a Star Fox title? Well, for one, she was aged up from 16 to 19. I assume this was done to make her romantic relationship with Fox more appropriate, considering he's quite a few years older than her. Her appearance in general was also changed to be more Fox-like. Many people still think her original version was meant to be a cat, but the condensed story proves this theory wrong. Briefly mentioning her change in wardrobe, the Adventures version is a lot less practical for action, but a lot more eye-catching for the audience. Star Fox Assault would give her a bodysuit that's both appealing and more efficient for her work on the team, but her tribal look remains the most memorable. As stated, when over half the game's original content was cut when it was being repurposed, Crystal lost much of what made her unique. Despite being a capable fighter in both physical and magical combat, a telepath, and having a badass Soul Survivor label attached, her arc is promptly aborted and she gets demoted to being nothing more than a standard love interest. Which, by the way, is something she was never intended to be. The character that would end up being replaced by Fox, Randorn's son Saber, was more or less Crystal's adoptive brother, though this information she does what? say she had a crush on him. Then again, the story of Dinosaur Planet was never completed, so there are numerous Gross. continuity errors in these bios. It's no it secret that Crystal's been through her ups and downs over the years. But On one hand, she has a sizable fan base, albeit mostly in the West, who love her and believe she should always be a face for the franchise, whether it be in Smash or a new Star Fox game. On the other hand, the creators don't seem to like her very much and are reluctant to keep her as part of the series, explaining why she didn't appear in Star Fox Zero though it's still up in the air as to whether she'll be reintroduced. That is so stupid. What is wrong with these freaking people? Are you serious? <laughs> 